Hi, I'm Aisha. You are watching Educational Hub. While writing a research paper, one should ensure the paper is clear, precise, and brief. It lets the audience understand the paper without any effort, using the right tense. The tenses used in a scientific paper should be exactly as in ordinary writing. In this video we will discuss which tenses use in writing article dissertation. Let's start. While writing your article dissertation, you can use several tenses, simple depending on the subject of your sentence. Choosing the correct verb tense for each section of a scientific manuscript can be challenging, but it is worth the effort. The proper usage of tenses actually depends on the type of content of the subject. It also depends on the journal's guidelines where it is clearly mentioned about the way a paper should be written. The manuscript is generally divided into sections. Okay, start with abstracts. It is of two types structured and unstructured. In structured abstract, the introduction is written in present tense, methodology and results in past tense and the conclusion in the present tense. The unstructured abstract is not divided into different sections as in structured abstract but the usage of tenses is similar. For example, this study was conducted at the Earina Field School, and within the indigenous Weirani community within Yasuni National Park region. Okay next, in introduction section, introduction it includes both the present and past tense. Present tense should be used when discussing something always true, while the simple past tense should be used when discussing earlier research efforts. For example, Clademia heterophila and Piperaceae mustium are both plants with antimata, meaning that there is an ant mutualism which protects them from a higher level of herbivora. Next, literature review. When writing a literature review, whether for a research paper or as an independent article, it is crucial to know how to use tenses based on the style manual, APA, AMA, MLA, etc. Research methods or results are discussed using the simple past when the researcher's name is used as the subject. Present tense is used when commenting on a researcher's work, discussing their results, and drawing conclusions. Okay, in method section, Simple past should be used in this section as here you discuss the work, experiments that you have done. Present tense should be used to refer to any tables, figures, or illustrations. For example, in the geographic areas selected for the study, 10 random focal plants were selected as points for the study. Next, results. The results follow a similar verb tense rule as the method section, past tense should be used, simple present tense should be used to explain diagrams, figures, tables. For example, we observed that there was no significant statistical difference in herbivora on Piperaceae between the two locations, Yasuni National Park, Ecuador, 01 degree 10 feet 11, 13 inches s and 77 degrees 10, 147 northwest, and E. Arena Field School, Ecuador, 01 degree 02, 35.2, s and 77 degrees 43, 245, w. Okay, discussion, here the findings are analyzed and interpreted along with their implications, simple past should be used to summarize one's findings. Present tense should be used to interpret and discuss the important findings. Conclusions It is usually written at the end of the manuscript after the discussion section. Present perfect tense should be used. Present tense should be used to state the findings and inferences. These general rules about tenses should be followed to make your paper more transparent, chronologically correct, and easier to read. Thank you for watching, like share and subscribe my channel for more informative videos.